Okay, for 5. So, we have Okay, G negative inverse X is equal to 4 over 2 minus X. So, and X is not equal to K. So, A, find K. So, if you want to find K, X is not equal to K. So, we take everything below. 2X is equal to 0. X is equal to 2. Means K is equal to 2. So, because S is cannot be equal to 2, so K is equal to 2. So, why we take everything equal to 0? Because the denominator cannot be 0. So, anything divided with anything divided by 0 will get undefined. So, the function, the, de the denominator of the function, the equation, the denominator will go undefined. So, the below one cannot be equal to 0. Alright, and then find the value of g half. So, you see here we have g inverse and then we want to find g. To get g half, we need to find g x first. So, if we inverse the inverse function, we inverse the inverse function, so we will get the normal function. So, we have to inverse this one back. So, we have 4 over 2x is equal to y. 4 is equal to y. 2 minus x. So, we have 4 is equal to 2y minus xy. We want to get in terms of x, right? So, xy, we will bring it to the left because we don't want the negative one. So, it's equal to 2y minus 4. So, x is equal to 2y minus 4 over y. So, we have g, y is equal to 2y minus 4 over y. So, gx is equal to 2x minus 4 over x. Actually, if you can just substitute from y. You don't have to change to x also, okay? If the equation don't ask for gx. So, we have g half. So, g half is equal to 2 half minus 4 over half. So, this one we get 1 which is equal to 1, min 1 minus 4 over half. So, 1 minus 4 is 3. 3 divided by half is equal to, which is equal to negative 3 over half or negative 3 times 2, which is equal to negative 6.